A. More complex organisms developed over time. 1. Only multicellular organisms found in older rocks, such as fossils of woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers. 2. Organisms became more complex as time went on. Example, prokaryotes, then multicellular, then organisms. Life moved on from water to land. B. Earth's history includes mass extinctions. Extinction. Loss of members of a species, like a woolly mammoth and a saber-toothed tiger. And two, mass extinction. Loss of large members of species. Permian extinction, which means it is about to, an extinction but took place about 250 million years ago and wiped out about 95% of all the population of animals. Two, Cretaceous, Cretaceous extinction, which is about 65 million years ago, took out about 50% of species, including dinosaurs, over a period of 2 million years. It also includes evidence for climate cooling and warming. Intrinsic hypothesis. The theory that mass extinction were caused by reasons on Earth such as volcanoes, tsunamis, and or plate tectonics. Intrinsic means inside, like kind of like inside the Earth, the stuff that happens on the planet. And for like an example, Pangea, how this continent, this continent, and this one, were separated at one time when they were together. Extrinsic hypothesis. The theory that asteroid impact caused a mass extinction. Extrinsic means outside, like stuff that doesn't happen happen on the Earth, then it comes from outer space that causes natural disasters. Living organisms went from being simple to complex at move, and moved from water to land. At various times, there have been mass extinction causing 50, to, 50 through 90 percent of all species to disappear, like dinosaurs and other creatures. Draw a double bubble comparing two hypotheses about the Cretaceous, Cretaceous extinction. Hypothesis 1, intrinsic. Hypothesis 2, extrinsic. That's the end of 6.1. That's the end of 6.1.